Welcome to the Introduction to Healthcare in the U.S., Public Health, Part 2. This is Lecture B. The component Introduction to Healthcare in the U.S. is a survey of how healthcare and public health are organized and services are delivered in the U.S. The learning objectives for Public Health, Part 2 are to give examples of and explain the general program categories of public health, including communicable disease, chronic disease, Terrorism response and environmental public health, discuss the activities and achievements of public health in the realm of communicable disease, compare and contrast the different types of terrorism and the different public health responses, and describe chronic disease activities and achievements of public health and the work of public health in the realm of environmental health hazards. This lecture will discuss public health and terrorism. Concern over terrorism continues in the U.S. Public health has responded by forming emergency preparedness and response programs. There are four main categories of terrorism bioterrorism, agricultural terrorism, chemical terrorism, and nuclear or radiation terrorism. Bioterrorism is defined as the intentional use of either microbes or their derivations. To produce death or disease. The target of bioterrorism may be humans, animals, or plants. Terrorism may be either overt, announced, or covert, unannounced. In addition to physical damage, overt attacks are designed to create psychological damage or panic. Panic also induces flight, which can help spread an agent. Covert attacks are intended to cause as much damage as possible before an effective response can be mounted. In the U.S., there have been few bioterrorism or BT attacks. A short list might include the military's apparent distribution of smallpox contaminated blankets to Native Americans in the 1700s. The list definitely includes a 1984 incident in Oregon. When a cult intentionally contaminated salad bars, causing 751 cases of food poisoning. This event was considered by some to be the first incident of BT on U.S. soil. Others disagree, citing examples like the one mentioned earlier. In 2001, anthrax contaminated letters killed five people. And in 2003 and 2004, several letters were found to be contaminated with the plant toxin ricin. However, no injuries resulted. Bioterrorism agents are categorized by CDC according to their ease of transmission and severity. The highest risk is Category A. These agents are easily transmitted and have high mortality. Examples include anthrax and botulism. Category B agents are the next highest risk. They are moderately easy to spread and cause moderate illness rates. An example is ricin toxin. Category C agents are the third highest risk. These emerging pathogens are easily available and have the potential for high illness rates. Examples include the hantaviruses and multi drug resistant tuberculosis. Public health preparedness and response programs have three main activities planning, monitoring, and education. The Laboratory Response Network is also a part of public health response. The Laboratory Response Network, or LRN, is a network of testing laboratories. These laboratories include food testing, veterinary diagnostic, and environmental testing laboratories. The LRN provides response capacity for biological and chemical terrorism, as well as other public health emergencies. There are more than 150 biological and 62 chemical LRN labs. Most of the labs are state public health labs, but veterinary, military, and international labs are also important participants. Agricultural terrorism is thought by many to be an underrated threat. Agriculture is essentially the foundation of all civilizations and thus makes an attractive target. There have been many unfortunate instances of importation of foreign pests and pathogens, both in the U.S. and other countries. A prime example of this is chestnut blight, a fungus which effectively wiped out the beloved American chestnut tree. 
However, to date, these incidents have been caused by accident, neglect, or ignorance, and not by terrorist efforts. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, or USDA Animal and Plant Inspection Service, or APHIS, is the main line of defense against agricultural terrorism and hazards in the U.S. Chemical terrorism, or exposure of the population to chemical hazards, is another concern of public health. As with other categories of terrorism, an attack could be either covert or overt. Both the National Toxic Substance Incidents Program and the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry participate in monitoring and efforts to mitigate risk of chemical terrorism. The CDC categorizes hazardous chemicals into 13 groups based on chemical type and exposure effects. The slide lists examples of categories based on the chemical type. Biotoxins, poisons from plants or animals, and metals, metallic poisons. The slide also lists examples of chemical categories based on the effects of the agent. Caustics, which are chemicals that burn or corrode, and incapacitating agents, which cause mental confusion or altered states of consciousness. Chemical terrorism or exposure of the population to chemical hazards is another concern of public health. As with other categories of terrorism, an attack could be either covert or overt. The National Toxic Substance Incidents Program, housed at the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, was created in 2009 and replaced the Hazardous Substances Emergency Events Surveillance Program. Among the purposes of the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry is to prepare for and mitigate the risks related to chemical terrorism. The first component of the National Toxic Substance Incidents Program is the National Toxic Substance Incidents Database. This is a repository for information related to chemical spills. It aggregates data from a variety of sources, including emergency response teams, state fire marshals, and the National Response Center. The other components of the National Toxic Substance Incidents Program include state partnerships and the Assessment of Chemical Exposures, or ACE, program, which provides training, materials, and support to local authorities to aid them in assessing incident impact. Both the sun and the earth are sources of natural background radiation. Man-made radiation occurs from sources such as TV sets, microwave ovens, and x-rays. A variety of tactics are used to disperse radioactive material as acts of terrorism. Nuclear or radiation terrorism threats are divided by their means of dispersal. These vary from dirty bombs to the simple tactic of placing a radioactive source in a heavily populated area. The public health response to nuclear threats consists primarily of educating and informing. This concludes Lecture B of Public Health Part 2. In summary, public health response is discussed for the four main categories of terrorism, bioterrorism, agricultural terrorism, chemical terrorism, and nuclear or radiation terrorism. Categorization of bioterrorism agents and the laboratory response network are discussed.